Pay close attention because Prince Harry's recent trip to the United Kingdom has left the British royal family stunned, as I am hearing. The successive situations that have arisen since this trip on May 7th on British soil have left a trail of information that we will begin to address, most of which is very delicate. As always, I ask you to subscribe to the channel. It's free and costs nothing. You'll be informed of all the latest news in record time. And without further ado, let's begin. You know that yesterday's main headline was that Harry and King Charles did not meet despite being very close to each other. Only four and a half kilometers separated the garden party hosted by the Windsors and the religious service that Harry attended, where he was acclaimed and cheered by a large part of the population, something that hadn't been seen within the British royal family for a long time. They hadn't received this kind of response, even for William or King Charles. I would say that King Charles, since announcing his cancer, has reached the hearts of the British people more. But in Prince William's case, the events he has attended well, he has been alone because no one was there. Pay attention because there have been two recent developments that I would like to discuss with you, stemming from a statement Harry made to the press, which did not sit well at all with those British tabloid sycophants who constantly fawn over the British monarchy. Harry's walk around these people who had gathered to see him, greet him, and take pictures of him was telling. Look at how the surroundings of the chapel, where the event took place, were. Meanwhile, in Windsor, King Charles appeared embarrassed with the authorities and his family members not looking too well, and everyone is questioning the same thing. Why is he behaving this way with his son? What has his son done to him? The popularity polls are completely manipulated. We don't know if Camilla is behind it, but it is evident that Harry is adored. He has many people dedicated to his security because everyone gathered there wanted to see him and greet him while his father ignored him. It is disgraceful. We see the press gathered around St. Paul's Cathedral, where the service took place, packed with journalists, while the surroundings of Windsor were empty. There was no one at Buckingham Palace. What can we conclude from this? Well, that yesterday was a wonderful day for the soldiers and for Prince Harry. The United Kingdom presented itself to Diana's son with love and warmth. The Spencers also wanted to support him while his father remained distant, always with Camilla, who never should have entered this family. Where was Prince William yesterday? Because the garden party is, as you know, the event of the year which his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, loved to attend. Normally, everyone would be present. William was not only absent, but it has been confirmed and rumors say he was outraged to see how his brother Harry is receiving indisputable support while he only gets criticism. I imagine that yesterday upon his return. However, they say that she remains out of the public eye, focusing on her health and her children, who continue their academic responsibilities at a school in Ladbroke, there is more, much more. Pay attention because there are already media linking Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's upcoming trip to Nigeria to a major problem for the British royal family. They say the British royal family cannot withstand the media impact and public success that both Harry and Meghan are having. This explains why Harry attended the Invictus Games anniversary alone, Reliable information indicates that Meghan wanted her husband to have all the spotlight on such a special day for him, celebrating 10 years since these games began, at a time when the British royal family is, as you know, non-existent. There is no institutional representation at the Invictus Games, to the point that all members of the British royal family, except William and his cousins, tended the garden party, including Princess Anne and King Charles' other siblings to somehow support him in what was happening just four and a half kilometers away. We see Harry embraced, shown affection and cheered by his mother's family, Lady Di's family, blowing a kiss to his cousins, talking animatedly with Charles Spencer. I believe this is such a public humiliation that even programs like TVE have had to resort to lies again. They label it as time of hope, time of memory. Real Robert Johnson claims that the idea that King Charles has somehow been snubbed by Prince Harry is completely false and ridiculous. 
it is disgraceful that the father refused to see his son. But the Spencers publicly humiliated the Windsors once again, saying what you did to our sister was repulsive. But what you are doing to our nephew is outrageous. Yesterday proved, without a doubt, that the Duke of Sussex stands above the institution. In the last few months, no other royal member has gathered such a large crowd to support them as Prince Harry has. He is not alone, nor isolated, nor humiliated, as the fake, power-bought British tabloids claim. He is proud, popular, and adored by the public. This is something the British royal family cannot stand, to the point that their next plan is to undermine his trip to Nigeria. In the midst of all this, there are several questions. Why do the British have to deal with a monarchy that makes life impossible for one of its own family members? Why do the British have to accept Camilla? This is non-negotiable for King Charles of England, both institutionally and familiarly, as everyone must love Camilla despite the atrocities she has committed. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle is relentlessly harassed and insulted, and Kate Middleton also has to be accepted, as her image and role in the British royal family are non-negotiable. With Kate Middleton and Camilla, it is clear, but Meghan Markle continues to be persecuted, and this is consistently denounced. Why this relentless attack on Harry and Meghan? Why do people have to accept Camilla when the British monarchy is on its last legs? We see how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, separated from the British royal family, have more media power and achieve greater success. They can pursue their professional projects without the institution, have their own brand, and make documentaries. They do not need the British royal family at all. This is what hurts King Charles, William, and Kate the most, Harry and Meghan's vastly different lives. The only common factor is their blood tie, which, despite many disagreements, is irreplaceable. Harry is seen as the spitting image of Diana of Wales. His maternal family knows this. He has the same charm as his mother, travels to the same places, and reevaluates life in a completely different way. He has done what his mother once tried to do, but it didn't work out for her, distancing himself from the British royal family. Harry is obsessed with a secure life, prioritizing his family's safety above all else. He cannot have a peaceful life without private security, which caused many issues with the British government when his security was withdrawn. Attention, there is more. The Mirror and other newspapers have Prince Harry on their front pages today, acclaimed, supported by the Spencers. While King Charles is just a few miles away at a garden party, Diana's family backs Harry, there is no need to say much more. The Mirror reports worlds apart between King Charles and Harry, trying to make it look better than it is. King Charles is a toxic father who has never cared for his son. Over time, the British public is realizing this. The monarchy is currently cursed. They brought this upon themselves. Harry is undoubtedly the winning horse, the Trojan horse and the rest are falling, whether through illness which karma should never act through as it is cruel or other means. Each one is getting their just desserts. This is the latest news. As always, subscribe and we'll see you in the next videos.